Hello and welcome to another World of Tanks replay. This time I am in my bat chat again. <laughs> I am on Fisherman's Bay. It's a tier 10 game, but it's a quite even split between 10, 9, and 8 vehicles. So it should be a it's a decent matchup. I mean, this is a nice matchup. <laughs> But yeah, <clears throat> I had this game yesterday as part of my quest to get the third mark of excellence on my budget, which we'll see if I ever get that or not. <laughs> also, the thing you may notice is that I've changed my crosshairs, so now they it's a circle instead of that upside down V. Because I found the V to be annoying, or I don't know if it was annoying, I just wanted to try something different. And I like this new aim point system. But anyway, <clears throat> as I always like to do in my fast mediums and scouts on Fisherman's Base to go into this bush here, because then you can spot tanks moving. As you can see I spot an E5. And other stuff, I'm keeping an, an eye on the tanks to make sure, the, yeah, the tanks they have in the middle to make sure I'm not spotted. And then, oh, that's a KV-4, who's just decided to chill into the middle. I decided to start unloading in turn. And... He is no more. And since it was a double push, or triple even, I was shooting through, I wasn't spotted. So that's not a bad way to start, <laughs> clipping out a KV-4. <laughs> And I apologize to the KV4 because it was yeah, <laughs> a bit unfortunate for him to be clipped out by me. And then I just, just I tell him that he shouldn't cross an open field that I came from the KV4 in this matchup, on this map. Because otherwise this will happen. <laughs> and <coughs> credit to him, he takes it quite politely just, oh, fuck this. I mean, he no rage or anything. And now I'm just sitting in this bush, waiting a bit. I don't want to poke the ridge aggressively. Because I've been... Yeah, I don't want artillery to smack me. And I don't have the gun depression to really fight against the Lorraine Bulldog. And also, the, I like how I haven't been spotted yet. I mean, that's always great because it, it keeps enemies on their toes. Because I don't know where I am exactly. But now this RU is going forward. And I know he'll get pulled, so I'll try to help him. And there we go. This is 44 or 416. I was here. That was a bad shot. And here I slightly panicked. Uh, panicked and I could have killed that bulldog, and I should have, really, but... Because I also aimed at, aimed at his hole, but it was only his turret that stuck above the terrain, so I shot the ground. One of the limitations of the auto-aim, but... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, something that doesn't happen often on this map is the south team pushing up the one line. And here we can see why. You you don't see that quite often because us and all of us in the middle were just eating them up slowly. And at the moment I'm looking, okay, everything has been spotted besides the tortoise and he will either be down in the forest to the southwest or in the city. So I could go in on this moraine and kill him. At least that's what I'm <coughs> considering at this time. I want to kill the guys in the middle. But I have some nice side shots on the heavy tank, so I get spotted, so I go back immediately and reload. I just decide to relocate. Save my health for late game. And now the 416 died. 
which is good now there's only the rain left in the middle and a centurion but then no centurion anymore so <laughs> only the rain and i have about eight seconds left on my reload so i decide to go in if i'm lucky i'll catch him completely off guard with no clip and i do i roll low i roll even lower so it takes me three shots to kill or something fucking annoying reason so 700 health three shots wow even two slightly below average would have killed him. Yeah. Iron Jesus be Iron Jesus and pain in the ass. Now the score is 9-4 and it's looking like we just have to clean up. Right. There's this lovely torso just chilling here. Alone. So I'm just keeping an eye on him. While you know, and then... Whereas I don't want to go for RC yet because there's no point really. And the network that's a full health torches for me to snag on. I decide to go in on him and I try to keep these <coughs> the, the vegetation between me and him so he doesn't know where I'm coming from until the last moment. Just in case he was looking at me. But he isn't. So, and someone hit him so now I can clip him out. I know the first shot was I don't know. Yeah. RNG giveth and RNG taketh away. Now we have to see this to A. And at this point I think that the game is more or less done, but the, there you fight just killed our IS-7, so now we actually only have me, a VK, a T-28 on very low health, and then some scouts against yeah, an E-75, 103, an E-5, and RT. So I mean, it's 11-9 now, it still should be easy enough, and here, okay, you, you can't see me ping the map, I don't know, if the, maybe the replay is broken, and that lovely bug that introduced the 9.4. But I pinged the map to say to the RU that we want to go and kill Arty. So, I sit up here to snipe and support and the RU just drives in. I see Arty. And he is the game. And our 30-90 died. Now it's three. I don't know the health. Oh, at this point I can see that the M103 is 500, and the E5 last time he was spotted was 700, and the E75 a thousand. So that means I clip two of them out in one swoop, but not the third one. And they can all. I mean, I'm full health, so I can take a hit from all of them at the same time, but I can only do that once. So here I'm just trying to find out where they are. I could have taken a shot there maybe, but I decided not to because only 8 shells left, I may need them. So I decided, okay, now I know the Ethan to 5 and the three are in the south. So I can be a bit aggressive here in the, the city to try and find this E5. I don't want to go YOLOing in alone, so I'm trying to ping the VK to ask him to come in and help us in the town, but he's more keen on sitting there. So I decide, okay, I'll sit, I'll flank on this side, so if they push me, I can, or my uh, what's called, team can shoot them. And then I go, okay, fuck it. Now those two guys are so far away that if the E5 is in here, I can kill him. Okay, I think I hit a hit and then kill him, and there he is. And he's one shotable, so I just drive in. Take a hit. Auto aim, get on his side. And move, move from the side. And now they want to feed an E75 no. I'm down here. But they know. So I'm like, okay, fine. E75 is one one shot and so they want to feed. 
I go for the engine five first because that was the easier kill. And then I killed the one of three for my seventh kill. So six thousand confirmed damage, but there was one blind shot on the KV4, so it is actually six thousand four hundred. And then seven kills. So I mean, all in all, not bad. I think. <laughs> One of my better games on Fisherman's Bay. It's always a difficult map to play, but since the enemy pushed the one line, I had more freedom in the middle, which I took advantage of to kill the Lorraine and Tortoise. And then it was just a matter of playing safely and clearing out their tanks. So yeah, I mean, that's <clears throat> not much to it, actually. Well, at least... I mean, it, it looks easy enough, but it, it can be quite hard. And I, I, I'm not sure I would be able to do this well on the next time I play Fisherman's Bay because it's an an interesting map, to say the least. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments, just uh, uh, sorry, any comments or questions, post away down below. And if you liked it, like it, and so on and so forth. And otherwise, stay tuned for more. Uh, <coughs> What's it called? Films, VV videos in the future. And yeah, I will see you next time.